fairy tale fashion designers, I'm Diana Ng, and we're going to start playing with mathematics, which is why this week we're at one of the places where fashion designers use math the most, the runway. When designing their collections, it's very important that fashion designers make the collections stylish and fashionable. And one of the ways that they do this is by looking at trends. Trends are really basically statistics. Um, so we're going to take a look at how fashion designers use trends or statistics in their designs. We're going to go shopping and look at clothing that's designed for fall 2009. And then we're going to compare with the runway trends from fall 2008 because fashion designers would have been looking at fall 2008 trends when they're designing their clothing for 2009. This short flirty skirt shape was all over the fall 2008 runway, so it's no wonder that it is in stores now. When looking for runway trends, designers look to see what appears most often. It may be anything from colors to skirt length. We can easily break this down into numbers. Here are all of the skirts from the Mark by Marc Jacob fall 2008 collection. There are six short flirty skirt shapes in a total of 12 skirts. You could easily make this into a ratio and say 6 out of 12, or say 50% of the skirts in the Mark by Marc Jacobs fall collection are short flirty skirt shapes, meaning that this is a trendy type of skirt. Fashion designers use a lot of numbers, trends, and statistics in their designs. They often subscribe to trend forecasters who tell them which colors they should use and what um, types of pants and skirts to design in their collections. Um, also, fashion design companies have merchandising teams, and the merchandising teams tell fashion designers exactly how many of each type of skirt, pant, or shirt to produce. Um, so they might say, you know, two tank tops are a good number to have in your collection because this ensures that they'll sell plenty of each item. Another trend we saw while shopping is harem pants. A trend as different as this definitely came after a lot of consideration. Designers in America adopted this style after they saw them being worn by an influential French editor. Harem pants began appearing a few years ago on runways like Marc Jacobs' Spring 2007 collection and Philip Lim's Spring 2008 collection. Trend forecasters like WGSN predicted that harem pants would be a trend in 2009. Harem pants were really popular in the spring-summer 2009 collections, appearing on the runways of Ferenza Schooler, Tahari, Miss 60, Betsy Johnson, and Nicole Miller. Harem pants are truly a trend since we saw them in the Tommy Hilfiger store, which usually doesn't have such risky fashion. You may notice that a lot of fashionable people look at a lot of magazines and keep up to date about who the latest celebrities are. This is because they're really good at statistics. Whether they're conscious of it or not, they're actually making complex calculations, factoring in which outfits are worn most frequently and how influential different celebrities and people are and what they're wearing. All of these different factors help fashionable people determine what to wear. So now for this week's design question. We want the fairy tale fashion collection to be fashionable. So what do you predict some of the trends will be for 2010? Copy and paste links to uh, some of the trends that you like or the image below in the comment section at the fairytalefashion.org website. <laughs>